Hello. Hello. I'm taking you on a walk for me this Tune In Tuesday to talk about self care and ask you what are you doing to take care of yourself? What are those little and big things that you choose each day of your life to ensure that your body, mind, spirit, and heart are tended to? I think a lot of the suffering we experience in this life is due to self-neglect. And self-care is critical for us to be able to feel at peace inside. It's also critical for us to be able to help others without resenting it. So as we step into this week of gratitude and little particles of snow start falling around me on my daily walk, walking is something I do to care for myself. Setting my energy intentionally is something I do to care for myself. Clearing space using smudge or now those lavender bundles is something I do to care for myself. Um, taking time to comfort my body if it's feeling tense or stressed is something I do to comfort myself. And I wonder what you do to comfort yourself, to nurture yourself, to self-care, to not neglect you. Because when you're in good shape, the rest of your life gets in better shape. Those relationships, um, the responsibilities, and that's what I want you to tune into this Tuesday as you prepare, prepare for gratitude season. Everybody starts giving thanks and remind, remembering their blessings. And I remember my blessings too. And you're one of my blessings, tr truthfully, being able to be heard. And I was just thinking of this as I prepared that someone's listening. And I'm just sharing a little bit of who, what I believe and what has helped me through life. And you're here listening. So thanks for listening. I'm grateful for you. I invite you to self-care and some of that self-care is really critical right before you go into dealing with your family. <laughs> this year we're all dealing with, and the last year too, a couple other layers of um, stress, a couple layers of energetic tension in the world. And because all of that's constantly happening around us and in the background, we need to be extra self-care oriented. We have to be extra nurturing, extra conscious of what's going on with our own spirit. And you can do that very simply just by paying attention and grounding yourself and putting your bubble up, putting some protection up, calling your energy back, all those things I always remind you of.